Ah. Uh, Hello. <laughs> My name's Leonard. I'm, I'm a TA. Yeah. And this is Trish. No. Um, and this is the this is a lab review for MP1 Lab 3. And this is no, not Lab 3. Lab 8, but this is your third lab exam. You get it. <laughs> because why would you be looking at this if you weren't doing that? So anyways. <laughs> Here it is. So we're we're gonna what we're gonna go over is the cross section of your spinal cord. So I need this. Okay. So we're gonna go over the different parts. So you have your white columns, which are the white part of your spinal cord. So then, if you look at right here, you have your anterior funiculus or the anterior column of your white matter. So that's actually this section right here. Then you have your lateral funiculus or your lateral column. Then you have the posterior funiculus or the... <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> and this is your posterior funiculus or column. Um, if you say column, you have to make sure that you have to say of white matter to make sure that you're saying the right thing. But funiculus, you can just say funiculus. So anterior, funic uh, anterior funiculus, lateral funiculus, posterior funiculus. All right. You next you have is your white matter. Why not your white matter? Okay, sorry. I don't know what I'm saying. You have your white cumulus here, which is this whoo, this section right here, which connects the two sides. Oh, I cannot see. Um, the two sections of your spinal cord is the white cumulus. White cumulus here. Next here is the horns of your gray matter. So this right here, this is your gray matter. You have your uh, your anterior horn, you have your lateral horn, and your posterior horn. Your posterior horn is the one that the, that's the longest. Um, next, you have is your great cone shear, which is this connection between the two sides of your spinal cord. Or if you see here, it's this blue part right here. Next is your central canal, which is it's cut right here, but it's that little tube that goes down here. But you see in this right here, it's that little black dot right there. That's your central canal. Um, next is the posterior median sulcus, which is this this section right here. This is the posterior median sulcus. It's the smaller hall. If you see here, it's the posterior median sulcus. Posterior median sulcus right here. Next is your anterior median fissure, which is this section, this thing right here. It's the bigger one, or if you see here, it's right there. That's the anterior median fissure. Um, next is your posterior roots. You have your posterior roots right here, and you have your anterior roots. So this is the posterior root ganglion. This is the anterior root, posterior root, and this is your spinal nerve right here, spinal nerve. So how you would know the difference between the anterior side and the posterior side is you can recognize it by the ganglion right here because the ganglion is on the posterior side so then when you orient yourself you can be able to see what's his anterior what side's posterior so when you're dealing with funiculuses or you're dealing with um, horns you would know what to look for and so yeah that's the cross section next we're gonna go over the peripheral nerves on your body so you have your arm and you have four that you need to know so you have your axillary, which is woo, this one right here that goes down and it exits out right here onto your deltoid area, onto your arm. So like it goes out kind of like here, generally. <laughs> generally. So this is your axillary. Then you have your three nerves, the one that goes to your pinky is your ulnar nerve. Then you have the one that goes to your thumb right here. That's your radial nerve. And the one that's one in the middle, that's your median nerve. So you have your radial goes to the pinky. You have Oh yeah, sorry. Ulnar goes to the pinky. Radial goes to the thumb. And you have what? Median. Median that goes straight in the middle. Yes. So that's the arm on your leg, Woo. we have the one that's on the front, let me take off this tartarius right here, alright, 
This one right here that goes all the way down, that's your femoral nerve. And then you have the one in the back. Oh goodness, this is such a big one. You have your sciatic, this one right here, and it splits into two. It splits into your common fibular, which is the smaller one. It goes off to your lateral side of the leg. So that's your common fibular. And this one right here that goes all the way down, that's your tibial. So it's, it separates right here. So you have the common fibular, and then you have your tibial. Then, we have, oh goodness, okay, moving. Oh, move the camera. Move the camera. Okay, yay! Okay, so you need to know different nerves on this tarso model. So you can see here, let's see if you can see it. This right. Oh, my goodness. Right? Uh, the white line. It's white. Why does it have to be white? You can't really see it. But there's a white line right here. The little thing right there. And that is your obturator nerve. Right there. That's your obturator. Move the, move the thing up. <laughs> right here is your vagus nerve, and this like serves the, your organs. So this is your vagus nerve. Then, so I'm gonna move this around. You have here your intercostal nerves. Oh, why are they white? <laughs> Can't see it. It's one that goes across. Under your, um, under your ribs is your intercostal nerves. Okay, the costals. And you see this little, little dots right there. Those are ganglions, and that's part of your sympathetic trunk. So your sympathetic trunk connects all your intercostal and goes straight down. That's your sympathetic trunk. So intercostal goes across, sympathetic trunk goes down. And we have that. Next we have is the plexuses. Did someone take the plexuses? No! Okay, we're going to go with the plexuses. Um, what? Yes. We'll be right back. Okay, that one was done, so I'll be Okay. Okay, so this is your... This is your... We're going over the plexuses. So on top right here, this is your cervical plexuses, and that serves the area around your neck. Your cervical plexuses, right here, you have your um, your brachial, which serves on, goes onto your arms. So that's your brachial. This is your thora the thoracic nerves. Those are your part of your intercostal. So those these are not plexuses. But if you go all the way down here, you have here your lumbar plexus, and that serves your trunk area and your legs, as well as your sacral, which is down here. These are your sacral um, plex. This is your sacral plexus, which also serves your legs and your trunk area. So you have your sacral, you have your lumbar, you have your brachial, and then your cervical. And that is it. Um, hello. So this is still lab eight. Um, there's several other things that I missed which are not models, but you need, still need to know it. Put my face, I need my face. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, these are, I'm just gonna speak because this is information that you would find in your book and things that you just need to know for lab eight. Um, you do need to know your, the cross section, of course, but in microscope form. So what you would need to do, so you would find that in your book. Um, what else you need to know is your dermatome a map. Um, the specific um, nerves that you, nerves that you need to know is C6, C8, L5, and S1. So you just need to know what areas are in your body where that, where that goes to. Um, that's what pretty much what that is. Dermatome map, also you just need to know um, the different plexuses of what, so like your C is your cervical area, so that's your neck area, and stuff like that. Um, what else? You need to know different parts of your spinal cord. So. I made, oh goodness, this is a terrible drawing. I'm so, I apologize for this drawing. Okay, let me move it over. Okay. So you do, so this is supposed to be the end of your, <laughs> your, your spinal cord. I am so apologize, I'm sorry. Bad drawing, sorry. So this, okay, so this little, there's a point right here. This is called your, um,
conus medullaris, which is the end of your spinal cord. So this is your sp spinal cord. Terrible drawing, sorry. So the end of your spinal cord is called the conus medullaris. Then this little horse tail thing with a bunch of nerves going down. That's your cauda echina, which goes all the way down. Then the end of your horse tail, of your of nerves, is called your phylum terminal. So that's what you need to know. Um, you will find a, a much better image in your book. So look at that. Don't look at this. I apologize. Uh, next. Oh, let's look at. Let's. Oh goodness, it's backwards. Never mind. Oh, okay. So <laughs> uh, there's different reflexes that you need to know. So you need the stretch reflex, or the plantar reflex, pupillary reflex. Uh, what you need to know is that what do you do for these reflexes? So stretch reflex um, is that's the one where you. Um, where you hit the knee and the leg would go up. Um, you have the plantar reflex. That's the thing with dorsiflexion of the um, of the foot when you would um, pretty pretty much touch the bottom of your foot. That's plantar reflex. And then pupillary reflex. That's dealing with dilation and constriction of your pupils due to light. So when you put light when you put light towards your eye, you would constrict your pupils to allow less light to go in to enter into your eye. And then in darker light, it would dilate so that you it can see better in lower light. So that's what you need to know for those three reflexes. Um, so yeah, so that is it. Oh, wow, my face. Um, that is it for lab eight the, for things that are not really model related. All right.